Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video and today this is going to be if you want to achieve a cat eye look which I know a lot of people have trouble with that. I know I had trouble when I first started doing a cat eye look. I was not so good. But just remember to just practice, practice, practice a lot and you'll get better and better. So I hope this video helps you guys and before I get started if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and share this video if you guys like it. Alright now let's get started. As always I'm going to prime my eyelids using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. Well I don't always use this concealer but I always use just any concealer. It's just my favorite way to prime my eyelids. And then using this mini beauty blender, it's from the All About Face kit from Beauty Blender. I'm going to blend it all out. Then I'm going to use a Rimmel translucent powder and the Coastal Scents brush to set the concealer. For this whole look, I'm going to be using the Morphe palette. This one's the 35N palette. And this eyeshadow right here is going to be the first one I'm going to put on my crease. And I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics crease brush. So I'm just going back and forth like this. I'm just going to try to focus this on my crease. I'm not going to pay attention to my eyelid because that doesn't, that's not, that doesn't really matter for this look. Well, for the beginning. Now that I have it there, I'm going to get a little bit more of the same eyeshadow on the same brush and put that on my lower lash line. I do normally use a different brush for my lower lash line, but this, I'm just applying this eyeshadow just really quick to kind of help blend out the dark eyeshadows that I will be putting there. Because it is important to start with lighter shades and then work your way up towards the darker shades. Oh, I just pushed my eye. Now I'm going to get this brush from BH Cosmetics, which is kind of the same as the one I just used, but this one's just a little bit bigger and a bit pointier. And this one really helped to apply the first eyeshadow and blend it out at the same time. But the, for this one, I'm going to get a darker brown. I'm going to get this one right here. I'm just going to look down and then I'm going to apply it right here, right in the corner and start blending it up towards the crease just a little bit and then out over here. I'm going to add a little bit more and do the same thing. And for right here, you don't want to have like a very sharp line. You still want it to look nice and blended. So I'm just going to go over that like this lightly. So for this eye look, you can see that all of the dark eyeshadows are just focused on the outer part of the eye and I do blend it up towards the tail of the eyebrow. So that's why I'm just putting it right in the corner and then I'm blending it out. I'm not going to start, you don't want to start by putting the eyeshadow right where you want it to be because if you start blending that out, it's going to move up higher towards the eyebrow. Now I'm going to get this A13 brush from Anastasia and I'm going to use the same eyeshadow to put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. Well no, for this one I'm not just going to stay on the outer part, I'm actually going to take it in towards the inner part of the eye. What helps me get the eye to look a little bit more like this is when I blend out or connect the eyeshadow from the bottom right here, I connect it and I go up like this. And that's kind of winging out, pretty much, I guess, the eyeshadow. I'm taking the Morphe R37 blending brush and start blending that out. And you can see that I, I put a lot more of the dark brown eyeshadow on this part right here and not as much over here. And the same thing with this part up here. I didn't put a lot of dark brown eyeshadow on this part because you... Just want to focus everything on the outer part right here. My fingers are so dirty. Okay, now for the black eyeshadow, I'm going to use this um, e.l.f. Cosmetics. I don't know what it's called, Teal 2 brush. You want to use a brush like this when you apply the black eyeshadow. If you really want to focus that eyeshadow on just one small part. I know it has a lot over here, but I did the same thing. I just applied it right here. And then just little by little, I started blending it up towards my crease but I do want most of the darkness of the black eyeshadow to just stay right there so it's important to use a brush like this it really helps so I'm gonna take the Morphe one again the Morphe brush and just lightly with the very tip of the brush I'm gonna go over the edge of the black eyeshadow and start blending it out and when you're blending it out don't take the brush over here because the you can you're gonna start seeing the black eyeshadow on this part and you don't want that so just blend it out in circles like this, just right over here in the corner. 
And now to apply the black eyeshadow on the lower part of my, on my lower lash line, I'm gonna use this pencil or brush from BH Cosmetics. And now for this one, you do want to keep it right on this part right here, just the outer part. And then also connect it up here. Don't blend it out straight out like this because that's gonna look weird because your eyes are just gonna look like this and not like up. The first time I tried doing a cat eye, I did it like that and it just it looked weird. Now I'm going to apply this eyeshadow on my eyelid using the Anastasia A13 brush. I'm just pretty much going to apply this where I didn't apply any of the brown eyeshadows. And then just a little bit on top of the black one right here so it can be nice and blended. Now I'm going to use this liquid eyeliner from The Bomb Cosmetics. And I'm not going to wing it out. I'm just going to keep it nice and thin. Now I have to let it dry. And for the eyelashes, these, I believe they're e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm not too sure. The eyelashes you wear are kind of important if you're doing a cat eye look. You want some eyelashes that are very small from the inner corner and then start getting longer towards the outer corner. And that'll really help you get that eye look to be a little bit more like BAM! More dramatic. It's just... It, it looks better. So these I thought were perfect for this look and or also I have these right here. I love these for any look I do but I also like them for the cat eye because you can see that they're fuller from the outer part. So these eyelashes will also give you the very the cat eye look and it looks nice. I'm going to use the Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mascara and I'm going to put most of the mascara on my outer eyelashes and I'm going to brush them out to the side. And this is also going to help a lot for the outer corner of your eye to be more intense. You also want to put mascara on the inner part because it's going to look weird if you don't have any mascara there and the other ones do have a lot of mascara. So you just want to put a little bit and brush those down and then the rest to the side. Then I'm going to use this Pixie Eyeliner on my waterline, and that's just gonna help open up your eyes more. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you liked this look, and if it was helpful, please share it and give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss out on any of my videos. I feel like I've got way too much lip gloss. But I love you so much, and thank you for your support, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.